Happy Friday! Welcome! I just want to just give a few moments to see who joins me today. Happy Friday! We made it! Woohoo! Right? Um, if you're hanging out at your desk, sitting at home, on the subway, chilling, you see my face, join me! Hi, Carl! Pastor Carl in the house! I am just so excited to be alive today. Um, and shout out to Pastor Carl. He has an awesome, awesome event coming up today, tomorrow, I believe. And I don't know if you got my message, Carl. I am interested in being a part, but my son is turning two tomorrow, so I didn't know how to connect. But I'll talk to you offline. Um, hello, everybody. Welcome. Happy Friday. Aren't you excited? It's Friday. I'm excited it's Friday. Um, every day is almost Friday for me. So I'm just excited it's Friday. Anyway, I can't see everybody. Hey, Wame, um, who's joining in. But real quick, I just want to talk, y'all. I just want to talk something that's been on my heart, um, something that my sister planted in my heart, and it's just blossoming. And so behind you, you see this morning I had a 6, we have a 6.30 prayer group that me and about five or six of my friends have been doing for like, three years now, right? Um, blessings to you too, my sis. Uh, me and my friends have been doing this prayer call. Every Friday, we get on there, we connect, and we just pray. Um, and this morning after prayer session, I was just kind of in this different place, right? I know most of us have been there. If you haven't been there, get there. Um, and really what I'm going to talk about right now is why you see the calendar and the debt free list and the vision board and the computers because it takes intention and so what i want to talk about real quick this will not be a long video at least i don't believe it will you know how the flow just happens right me and my um friend she's my client sister friend you know how that works you become you go from clients to friends to sisters shout out to shelby that's who i'm talking about this morning um, she is my massage therapist. We met years ago, just had a quick connection. I've designed her website, various book covers for her, interior book designs for her, etc. But she is my massage therapist. She's the person I go to when I need my me time, my mommy time, my away from life time. Um, she's the best massage therapist, by the way. If you don't have one, get one. Um, and so in our session last week, we were talking and I love being connected to kingdom people, God-fearing people, prophetic people, spirit-led people because, yeah, I went there for a massage, but it always turns into prayer and prophecy and speaking life and laying hands and that type of thing. And so while we were talking, we were talking about just different things in life. And um, one of the things she said the Lord revealed to her, and hopefully she doesn't mind me sharing, but I feel like it's a word not only for her, but was for me and will be for other people, which is why I am sharing this video. Her video was talking about, well, not her video, but her, the message God gave to her was that many people are so excited for 2020. Everybody's got 2020 vision and all these things, right? And that's great. But just like any year, we do the vision boards, we pray and prophesy and find all these cute cliche things to say but if no work's getting done nothing's changing and what she said the Lord gave her was there were many things that God has given many of us to do in this decade that we have not completed Woo! some of us have not even started right we have not even began to do the work that God has put in us whether that's writing the song writing the book um, forgiving somebody you don't even have to be creating this big thing but whatever God's told you to do have you done it and she said many of the things that we were supposed to do in this decade have gone undone we are not just crossing into a new year when we count down you know on Jan on December 31st into January 2020 we are going into a brand new decade let that sit in let this, I mean, because this really resonated with me to the point where I'm like, okay, 
I'm a visionary. Anybody who knows me knows I have probably two or three things God is dropping in my spirit at any time. And sometimes the, the challenge for those of us who are wired like that is, okay, Lord, what am I doing next? Um, the next is to take that one step. Because many times, too, we can't complete the things that are in our heart because we are fearful. We are worrying about how it's going to get done. What's next? Who should, be, who should I partner with and all of that? The Lord told me this morning, which is why I'm on here, to just start with step one. Get quiet. Get away from all the noise, all the distractions, so that I can remind you of what I said. And when you do that, God is faithful to complete the things he began in our hearts and in our lives. And so when we get quiet and we get away, this, this all happened this morning. Now, I did go through a, to a vision session the other day, don't get me wrong, but I didn't get a lot done in that session in regards to writing things out. It was kind of that igniting of the conversation and your thoughts, etc. But you got to sit down. You got to put the distractions away and get serious because what we have in us is not just for us. And for though anybody who's kind of followed my Vision Defined platform, which will be coming back to life in Jesus' name in 2020, that platform is all about igniting what God's put in us so that we can get it out there. The late um, Miles Monroe, I love him. I can't wait to meet him on the other side of eternity. He always said the greatest and the most richest place in the world is the grave because so many people take their gifts, their talents, their abilities, their anointings, all the things that God is putting you go right to the grave. What a shame. In a time where we have technology, resources, libraries. I mean, there is, there's no lack of resource, but sometimes there's a lot, lack of movement um, in our churches, in our homes, in our families. Why are we complacent? Why are we not moving forward? It's easy to say move forward, but when you look at the charts, let's look at the statistics, when you look at the metrics, and that's why I love the corporate circle. Even though I'm an entrepreneur, I have also worked in the corporate. One thing I loved about working in a structured corporation type of situation is that there is follow through. We're going to look at the stats. We're going to see what we're doing this week and next week and say, you know what? That didn't work. Let's go turn about face and do something different, right? Welcome. I can't really see who's, who's coming in, but welcome. Thanks for joining. And so really, I just want to remind us all, number one, to stop and think about what's in your heart right now. I feel like I missed a thought, but that's okay. What's in your heart right now? What has God put in you to do? I don't know if you're the best bake cake, cake baker, do it. I don't know if you're supposed to be working with children, do it. I don't know if you're supposed to start that business, do it. I don't know if you're supposed to be a network marketer, do it. I don't know if you're supposed to preach your first sermon, do it. Whatever God's told you to do in the past, we always looking for what's next. What's next is not coming until you're faithful with what he's already given you. One of my favorite stories in the Bible, um, and one that always trips me up too, is the one where God is saying, Moses, what's in your hand? What have I already given you? What have I given you? When we use what God has already given us, he'll give us more, right? In the same way, if you have a child, and that's why I love being a mom now, because there's a lot of correlations that I maybe didn't see. But if my son does well, if he, he's, you know, he's, he's only about to be two. He'll be two tomorrow, guys. Can you believe that? I can't believe it. Sidebar. But as he grows up, I'm sure I'll want to provide and, and, and um, you know, lavish love on him and different things like that because he does good in school and all these things, right? If he was a disobedient child who never listened, who was just wayward and all those things, would I want to continue to give him more? He has to do well with what he has. You know what I mean? So in the same way, we need to use what God has already given us, whether that's your talent, your ability to organize, your ability to group people together, be hospitable. These are all gifts and things that we should be using to our betterment. And as we are faithful with those few things, he'll give us so much more. And so hopefully, if nothing more, I've just reminded you that you're not leaving 20 19 into just 2020 you're going into a new decade what 
is it that God has already told you or showed you or put in you that you have not completed or even in some cases even started in this decade? Make haste. Get it done. Nike is the most prophetic company in some ways. They said just do it. As a marketing and branding person, I just love the simplicity of just do it. Whatever hindrances, whatever's tripping you up, whatever's got you stopped and stumbled and negative, break it off. Don't go into 2020 with your shoulda, coulda, wouldas. Don't go into 2020 with just a vision board. That's great. What's after that? Because many of us, myself included, have made many a vision boards. I'm a big advocate that if you don't write the vision, you don't even know what the vision is so that somebody else can run at it. So yes, this is step one. But what's after that? What do we do after we wrote the vision and after we wrote down, you know, I'm debt free. I, this, that's what I was led to do this morning, write down every one of our household debts, whether it's loans or a brand new home, which we love, or um, tax bills, credit cards. We don't have really much of those. Oh, medical bills, just whatever. Writing them out and asking God specifically, Lord, give me a strategy to get that done. Get it done. And to be more intentional with our spending, that's another thing. For those of us who are in business or want to be in business, all that kind of stuff, we have to do our due diligence and get things in order. Because if God blesses you with the more, sometimes people get more and then more depressed because you got more you're managing, but your lack of order is just a magnified lack of order. So even now, I'm praying, Lord, before you give me the more, because it's been prophesied and I believe it, more than I know, probably, that more is coming and not just finances. I believe wealth is not just financial. It's knowledge. It's influence. It's impact. It's kingdom. But sometimes we're not ready for it. We're not ready for the more. Welcome, everybody. I see y'all coming in. Can't really see the, the notes because I have a, a um, camera up for the lighting. But anyways, welcome. Um, whatever you need out of this video, take it, run with it, share it. And if you don't do anything, just ask God, Lord, what are you saying to me? Because as I leave 2019 and go into 2020, I don't want you to say, yo, I'll put this in you in um, 2015. You did nothing with it. You're going into a brand, we're going into a brand new decade. And that really, what Shelby implanted in my heart has been just blossoming. And so I'm now like, okay, let's get this, this debt plan in order. I will be debt free in Jesus name. Y'all watch and see, I'm going to be debt free and I'm going to be setting other captives free. Trust me when I tell you, I know that me and my husband will be kingdom financiers. Instead of you having to go to all these banks with all these interest rates and stuff, we're going to say, what's your business plan? What's the song? What's the book? What's the talent God put in you? Show us the plan. Here's the capital. And I'm looking for other kingdom citizens who, like me, understand it's time, y'all. We got to come together. We got to get our houses in order so that the Lord can bless us, so that the Lord can allow us to be, have dominion. Come on. I don't know why I'm so revved up. I don't know if it's because it's Friday or what, but the Holy Spirit is moving <laughs> in the home office. Amen. Anyways. <laughs> We got to get in order, guys. The time is now. God is looking for people to get their house in order financially, visions, all these things. If we're not in order, he can't use mass, y'all. He wants to use us. He's waiting on us to get in order. He's waiting on us to say, you know what? I got this calendar right here. I don't know if y'all can see it. Fill it up. Believe that I'm going to align you with the people that... You need for the vision I put in you. His vision, just example, vision defined is not Amber's vision. And y'all see me wearing my tee from the other day? It says, do something great. Boom, team vision defined. If you are somebody who's looking for a group of people, I'm actually going to start a mastermind probably soon and just see who's out here. See who's in like mind. See who's trying to come together. See who's trying to get ahead and not just always okay it's a new year so what let's i mean we should be dominated i am on fire right now but anyways back to my point i'm gonna close out on this 
<laughs> I didn't even mean to go into all of this. But anyways, recapping for anybody who just sees the first and the ending of this video, because I know how people are, where our, our attention spans are short, mine included. What I'm saying is, as you leave 2019 and launch into 2020, Lord willing, we all make it to that day, right? Because even tomorrow's not promised. So, should we make it to that day? Remember, you are not just going into a new year. You are going into a new decade. And don't wait for it. Write the vision, make it plain right now. List out what your desires are. I can, I, a quick testimony. Years ago, before I got married, I had this little journal book and I wrote in there spiritual goals, family goals, financial goals. I did buckets. And I encourage you, if you've never done that, to do that. It kind of allows you to focus in um, when you're doing vision stuff. Um, and honestly, everything in that book came true, even down to my husband. I would go back and I would say, it said something like, I want to be humorous, a man who loves the Lord, someone who's business minded. And not just, just the little bullets. It ain't detailed. It was not too detailed, rather. It was detailed enough. But, you know, God really takes into account when we take ourselves seriously. Guys, we have to take ourselves serious enough to sit down and say the thoughts that are going through my mind about helping the poor and serving people and bringing people's visions to light. That is not just me. That is the spirit of the Lord in me. We are his earthen vessels. So don't think it small or don't downsize what God's put in your heart. Even if no one believes it, you believe it. You and the Lord, God is my business partner. <laughs> He's the best one. And then he reminds me all the time, you don't need a lot of people. When God tells you to do something, you don't need an army. You're going to need the faithful few. The faithful few. And he will draw them. You just got to be diligent. You just got to be consistent in what he's telling you to do so that he can bring them, so that he can do the rest. So I love y'all. I hope this was, hope this fired y'all up just as much as it's fired me up. Um, the last few things, if you don't know what to do, pray. Ask God to show you, because that's what I've been doing. Lord, okay, you give me all these things. Okay, uh, what's the order? He said, just write it out. Tomorrow he might tell you, now focus on this one thing. And that's the other reason why I like reading the Bible. Even sometimes there are certain areas that you don't always get when you watch and you use those the stories of people's lives, because that's what the Bible is, history, a story of stories of people's lives. You actually see how God worked through people and talked to them and led them in different seasons and different ways and connected them. He is the best connector, guys. If you are in a business or something and you're looking for people to connect to, ask God. He is the best. He is the best business business partner ever. Okay, I'm gonna stop because I'm full on a lot of things and I don't want to ramble. But I love y'all. Y'all know my heart is to bless people, to encourage, and um, it is my prayer that if you got nothing from today's um, little video, that you remember as you leave 2019 and cross over into 2020. That you are not just leaving one year going into a new year. You are going into a new decade. The question I will leave you with is the same one Miss Shelby has planted in my heart. What has God already told you to do in this decade that you have not done? We will be held accountable, ladies and gentlemen, for all the things God's put in us over the years, over the years over and over again and we have done nothing with it or we have not taken it serious if it's whatever it is ask god to show you and be diligent make haste get it done make haste in 2019 verbiage is just do it so that's what i'm aiming to do in my home office today is writing all of the visions down and asking god what's next and learning to be still until he says take that next step. All right. Bless y'all. Have a great weekend. Bye.